Hi, this is Ralph with a lot of things. Uh, we are doing a segment of a video for our Neki EV7. Uh, as you can see, this is the front part. We're going to remove some of the panels. So to show you how to get to the uh, the belt if it ever needs adjusting, and to adjust the what they call the pressure foot. And if you just take a like a common pin or even a needle, and there's a little plug on the end here you just open take that and remove it see there's that little plug there and there's a screw here it's a Phillips screw and we just remove that screw like so and and put it aside to where you remember where it's at and then this little panel comes off which gets to your light and to our adjustment that we want to make for the pressure foot the pressure foot would be adjustable because if you notice here we have we have uh, three different feet here off to the right and they are called the Teflon feet and if you'll notice that the height or thickness of the Teflon feet vary so this here you will have to make an adjustment here you can adjust this up to a quarter of an inch and uh, if you adjust it for this here, uh, that's fine. And then you put your, your measurement, just a, a little piece of, uh, I just cut this off an old tape I had. So there's a quarter of an inch. Or this particular plastic section is a quarter of an inch. And so what I do is I remove the light bulb, set that off to the side here. Now I'm going to turn this to the side. In fact, um, I'm going to elevate this up so it's a little bit easier to see. And the actual adjustment is right here to the, if you follow the pressure foot the bar up, that's a pressure bar and there's a pressure spring. And there is a Allen screw here which is the number two metric right where this is pointed okay now maybe I'll move this a little bit to so it even a little bit better it's right here so what you do is you take and remove that uh, not remove it but just unloosen it and then you can adjust this foot up this pressure bar okay then I adjust it put it underneath make sure it's not over the feed dogs because you want to make it measured from the needle plate to the bottom of the foot. In other words, we take that off and say we're going to let's bring that needle up and we want to use this foot which is the straight stitch Teflon foot. Okay. Now, let me move this here. I can see better what I'm doing. Okay. There. Okay, so then I want to measure it here. Okay, so I got to move it down. You just wiggle it down until you get it to that quarter inch. Let's take that off. That's moving too much. So here we go. Now sometimes you go to the edge, but this here is the narrow foot. And but remember, if you've got it hinged here, so it's got to go underneath the part that's more not an unhinged like here okay so I got this here and I bring it up to that height and you probably have to move the balance wheel to get the feed dogs to go below the plate just jiggle your your hand wheel here back and forth um, if you have a problem there then just remove the needle then you'll be able to slide it through there with no problem okay so we've got that there and you want to make sure that you line it back up now parallel to your feed, you know, the feed dogs. And so what I do is I just take it back to the side here or the front, swing it here and make sure that it's lined up here. Okay, and then we'll just take and tighten this up. Now see that moved just a bit so you might have to just hold that in place. You want to keep it straight, you don't have to tighten it real tight just firmly tighten it there. 
and then you look at it here to see that it's parallel to the feed dogs and you can see there now this is your straight stitch so now you got it up to quarter of an inch um, which your Teflon foot will work extremely well on the uh, vinyl on the leather uh, particularly the metal foot is not designed for all the leather and stuff because of the texture it's like trying to uh, uh, slide on, on concrete with tennis shoes, doesn't work so the, you have this metal section here and it doesn't like to feed uh, over that leather sometimes so anyway that's uh, the, the main thing here also if you have the other foot which is what we call the uh, snap not the snap on this is the snap on unit and if you just remove this here the unit itself and if you've got this foot which is a standard foot okay you just remove that screw and then put this back okay if this if you got this style because we had this available for the different machines If I had another arm, it'd work really great. <laughs> Normally, you can just put that screw back on first and then tighten it up a little bit. And make it a little bit harder on myself. Okay. Now, and then you want to check your height again. Now, you notice there that uh, that's, uh, the distance between the bottom here and, and the, the top there, there's quite a gap there because of the thickness of this foot itself was thicker. So now you're going to have to lower that back down and uh, if you've got this type of foot here so you just loosen that little screw there on the pressure foot and lower it down. There we go. And that's lined up there. Okay. And we're good to go for that height. But remember, quarter of an inch. Okay, now, is there, if there's a reason to, to uh, ever adjust the belt, and sometimes the belt um, can get loose, uh, or you need to uh, adjust it and make it tighter, you remove this top panel first. Up here, there's two screws. If I move my arm out of the way. And that comes off here. There's also a screw here that you have to just unloosen. That holds part of the back panel. You unloosen that a little bit. Okay, there's another screw here. This you'll notice there's a couple more plugs just like this. Okay, and you just take a little needle or a pin and then it'll pop right out. And you unloosen this here. Take that screw out. There's another one down here. Okay, then you swing it around, and then there's one on the end here. There's another cap, and I've got it removed already. And we just remove that one. That's the longest screw. That's the longest screw goes on the end. And then we take and remove the bottom panel. four screws down here this also gets down to the uh, your inspection panel these are all easily removed okay there we go and you can see that's where, where the motor is now I've removed this here. This screw held these two pieces in here, if you notice. And so now I take and swing this back around, remove the accessory tray, and you'll notice that there's a, there's a screw. These I've removed these two little screws here already. But way in the back, if you look back through here, there's a screw way in the back there. On the frame, there's only one screw back there. And just remove that one. It's got it's got what they call its own lock washer on it. 
so you can't miss it because it's just like this and there's two more goes here okay so now we got that done and now we're going to remove the back panel here let's see let me get it back the next way to do this it just slips right out here there we go and then here and if you notice that this is a unitized body this is an all metal machine body the, you have the exterior which is vinyl and it's very well sealed to keep the elements out keep the, the critters and bugs and and wh whatever okay so now here is your motor in the belt and there's there's two adjustments there's just two screws here you just unloosen this one down on the bo bottom section here and then there's one right here this is the the one that elevates you see here it moves and and basically you want it when you you take and squeeze these together you don't want it to move any more than a quarter of an inch on each in each side and so that's how you generally tell so let's take this here see there we got it now it's nice and firm you turn that there and we're we're good to go okay uh, I think that would be pretty much what we need to deal with with today uh, also your this is your bobbin winder what this does this actually shifts off the clutch automatically so you don't have to, to worry about turning anything else or the wheel so you just push that over and then it, it, the friction runs on the side of the the, um, the belt drive here and then we got uh, the front part of your this is your uh, where your uh, threading is done and pretty much uh, it's threaded pretty much the same as most of the machines there's your tension up here when you're sewing the vinyl and leather uh, leave it on number nine uh, if any more tension is required uh, then you just wrap it around uh, this little guide on top here once we put this back this will even give you more tension when you're coming around here to the main threading mechanism and uh, we'll show that we show that on, on several of our videos we'll be doing another video on this one here uh, shortly so I think uh, we're good to go there so this is the segment on uh, primarily adjusting the uh, 